So what do you think about that Brooke Houts? Is that how you say her name? I want to kick her. I don't really want to talk about it because I'm really mad. I want to hold her down and spit in her face. So what do you think about uh, this Brooke Hout thing where she's uh, beat on her Doberman? First of all, I want to spit in her face because that's really, I'm trying not to say bad words. Um, I don't know. I just, I happen to know Cruz wouldn't tolerate anything like that. Okay, this video is going out to Brooke Houts. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce her name. I, I, I didn't watch her channel. I really don't know. Uh, but she's abused her Doberman this morning. Um, uploaded the wrong footage, and it's footage of her hitting and spitting on her dog. I, mean, I was playing with Cruz one day. We were watching The Walking Dead, and I was like, I wonder if Cruz would live if I turned into a zombie. And I was playing with him, acting like a zombie. And he thought the situation was really weird, and he tried to get away from me, and I was like, no, I'm gonna eat you. I'm like, you would die if you were in a zombie apocalypse and I turned into a zombie. You'd let me eat you. Well, he wouldn't, because he turned around and was like, I mean, vocally, verbal, I mean, just verbal, like he was eating me alive. In the moment, I thought I was dying. I'm like, oh my God, I'm being mauled by my Doberman. I did, it scared me. I was across the room, I was like, what is was, going on, man? I was like, I am being mauled by my Doberman, I'm dying. I don't even feel it, but I know I'm dying. It's shock, I'm in shock. Now, this dog, her dog, is young. Her Doberman Pinscher is a pretty young dog, and she doesn't know apparently what she's getting herself into she's teaching violence to a dog if you bring violence to the party if you bring violence to the training when they're that young they're, they're going to assume that violence is okay uh, the kind of violence you give them is the kind they're going to give back and that's what she's going to get as this dog gets older and that's how a lot of dobermans i believe a lot of dogs in general end up being abandoned and dropped off at shelters and things like that so we show crews love <laughs> he gets love now, you've got to correct them, and there's a proper way to correct them without hitting them. If you're going to hitting them and show them physical violence coming from you to them, they're going to pick up on it, and they're going to show it in kind. That dog's pretty young. Now, you could tell that it thought that this was play of some sort. This wasn't an out-of-the-ordinary situation for that dog because it was still coming up and getting in her face and, and going back and forth. It, it thinks that this is a... A normal play situation it's not is it buddy it's not what you put in your doberman is what you're going to get out if you put violence in you're going to get violence out if you put love in you're going to get love out the sad part to me is that dog would probably still protect her with its life it would probably die to keep her safe if someone came in her house or came around her that dog still loves her unconditionally i guarantee it and if someone did, does take that dog away from her which I, I doubt they will over that but if they did come to take that dog away from her it would be bad for this dog in some ways because that dog is going to grieve for her he's going to miss her but he never touched me his teeth never touched my skin but he let me know like hey mom you need to chill you're acting weird and i don't like it <laughs> and you're not eating me no i would never <laughs> let you eat me i'm not dinner <laughs> so i have a really i respect him it was my if i would have gotten bit it would have been totally my fault so i don't we don't do that we don't even play hit each other mm -hmm. he hates violence mm -mm. um we can't do that. He he really hates violence. Any kind of violence. Yeah. Any kind of violence at all. He if doesn't... the cats are fighting, he has to break it up. Sometimes dancing. If we were to dance around the house and stuff, sometimes he, he misinterprets that. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Do you, buddy? Come here. All right. I need your opinion. We want your reaction. Come here where I can get your... What do you think about that lady that did that to that dog? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most of it was just she, he wanted to be close to her face too, you know. Dobermans do that. They want to be close to her face. Anyway, so oh god. Here, <laughs> See? edit it so we can beat him up. <laughs> yeah, I had, yeah. If you notice, there's not a lot of quick edits in our videos. We just leave stuff in there. He smacks me in the face. He smacks me in the face. But he's doing it in a loving way, and that's what that dog was doing. He was just being loving to her, you know. And what's sad is he kept being loving to her after. 
after she was beating on him. Yeah, and he's like, is this some kind of game? Yeah. This is a game we always play, isn't it? It's just, it makes me mad, and I'm trying to be nice about it. What was her name, Brooke? Houts, H-O-U-T-S. I don't know. Anyway. If she was my neighbor, I'd go to her house right now. We'd have a talk, Brooke. <laughs> a kind, wonderful neighbor to neighbor. I would teach her some West Virginia manners and how to treat animals. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And have you know that this guy has never been treated that way, never will be treated that way, and he gets the kisses if he wants to. I do to. threaten him with a flip-flop sometimes when he's pinching me on the butt. <laughs> yeah. When the flip-flop comes off, he knows she's just a, It's a threat. <laughs> He's like, okay, but I do not hit my dog. <laughs>